Cricket, I was just reminiscing about when Red Bear started school. I had my backpack and a heart full of courage. Then a little later, I remember when Pink Bear started school. I was a nervous wreck, but I was excited about lunch. And then there was Green Bear's first day. I had a three-point plan for success, two lunches, and a new yellow bow. Yes. And now... Brown Bear starts school. Will he be courageous like me? Will he be nervous like me? Or ready to own the place like me? <laughs> or will Brown Bear be a little bit like all of them? Or a little bit like you? Ring the bell! Brown Bear starts school right now. Pretend that was a watch. Now. Dun, 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 dun. A time of change can mean so much excitement. It can mean nerves. It can mean both at the same time. Because we can do that. It was Brown Bear's first day of school. <sighs> he was wearing his new sweater and his new scarf. He was carrying his new book bag filled with his new notebook in it and his new pencil case filled with his new pencils and erasers. All the new stuff that greets the new year that makes it just that much more extra exciting. As a matter of fact, don't say anything, but where is it? Oh, right here. I got Red Bear a new backpack this year. Did you say Red Bear? No, I said bread care. Well, why would you say bread care? Because we care about bread right there. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was close. He even had his new lunchbox filled with his favorite lunch, a salmon sandwich and a small jar of honey. His mother had given him money to buy a small container of milk in the lunchroom. Brown Bear was set. He was ready to go. His father had kissed him goodbye before he left for work. Mwah! His brother had called out, Good luck, Brown Bear, catch you later, as he ran out the door to the school bus that the older kids took. And his mother was waiting by the door to walk Brown Bear to school. Not bad, door-to-door -door service. That's very VIP! Yeah, very important bear. Yeah! But Brown Bear huh, wasn't moving. Um... The time is now. Pretend watch says right now is the time. Let's go, Brown Bear. Oh, what if they don't like me? He asked. They will, she answered him. You know most of the other kids in your class already, Brown Bear. You know Pinky Piglet and Little Monkey and Big Bulldog and Long Crocodile and the Chicklet Triplets, Chick, Chicky, and Chuck. Those three are a riot, but watch out for Chuck. What if I can't hear the teacher? Brown Bear asked his mother. Can you hear me? Yes. Brown Bear's mother just looked at him like this. What if I'm not wearing the right clothes? Asked Brown Bear with a little... <coughs> so she wouldn't hear the frog stuck in his throat. Oh, somebody's got a serious case of the first day jitters. Also known as first day of school nerve attack. Then we'll go shopping right after school and buy you new clothes. His mother told him, giving him a little hug. Okay, said Brown Bear. I guess I'm ready now. And come on, Brown Bear, you look sharp. There's a scarf, your beautiful sweater with the heart, which I totally want now, and the lunchbox is full of all the yummy stuff. You are ready for this. Brown Bear and his mother walked out the front door and down the path to the sidewalk. Hello, Brown Bear, said Pinky Piglet's mother. <laughs> She and Pinky Piglet were walking to school, too. Pinky Piglet was wearing a sweater and a scarf and carrying a lunchbox and a book bag. Oh, I sense the theme. Hello, Mrs. Piglet, answered Brown Bear politely. Well, hello, Brown Bear and Pinky Piglet, said Little Monkey's father. <laughs> He and Little Monkey were walking just behind them, and Little Monkey was also wearing a sweater and a scarf and carrying a lunchbox and a book bag. Let me tell you something, kid. If you're from a warm weather place like I was growing up, that whole scarf and sweater business on the first day of school is a no-go. Why not? 
because you'll be baking in your sweat before lunchtime. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Monkey, answered Brown Bear and Pinkie Piglet politely, and the parents all smiled at each other because they know this is a big day for the kids. They reached the school playground. Oh, where so much of the playground magic happens. Brown Bear could see his friend Big Bulldog playing on the swings, woo -woo, and Long Crocodile right there, and the Chicklet Triplets. We got Chick and Chicky and Chuck, woo, that's Chuck. And they were tossing a ball to each other. Can we play too, asked Brown Bear. Sure, said Long Crocodile, also wearing scarves. I guess it must be chilly where they are. Brown Bear, Pinky Piglet, and Little Monkey joined their friends, and Chicky tossed the ball to Little Monkey. Look how far I, 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 I can throw, said Little Monkey, and then he threw the ball towards Chuck. Whoa, watch out, Chuck! The ball flew right over Chuck's head, and whoo, right over the playground fence. Wow, somebody has a strong arm. It landed on the other side of the street, rolled a few feet, and stopped. I, 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 I'm sorry, said Little Monkey. I, 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 I didn't mean to throw it so hard. I, 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 go, 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 go get it. Now, Brown Bear knew that he was not allowed to cross the street, and he didn't think that Little Monkey was allowed to either. Now, the first thing Brown Bear did was he looked around to ask his mother what to do, but he couldn't see her. Um, we, we aren't supposed to cross the street alone, little monkey, Brown Bear told him. I'll go find Miss Zipper. Who's Miss Zipper? Have we met her yet? No, right? Okay, I'm sure she'll be along. And just as he turned to look for her, he saw his mother with Mrs. Piglet and Mr. Monkey coming towards them. Our ball went across the street, said Little Monkey. I, I, I threw it too hard. Brown Bear told me not to go get it. Mrs. Bear looked at Brown Bear and smiled. You did the right thing, Brown Bear. She leaned down and whispered in his ear, all by yourself. Brown Bear smiled. He knew what to do. Ah, 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 get the ball, Mr. Monkey told them. And do you realize what just happened? First day success. Why, did they make him president of kindergarten? No, they've only been in school for like two minutes. <clears throat> the success is that Brown Bear remembered the good advice that Brown Bear's grown-up gave him that would keep him safe and keep his friends safe even when the grown-up wasn't around. But... The good information was right here. He pulled it out, he used it. Whoa, Brown Bear's got what I call superhero potential. So do you. They all turned as Miss Zipper came up to them. Oh, did we know Miss Zipper was an elephant? Well, we know now, don't we? She was holding someone's hand. Hello, Brown Bear and Pinkie Piglet and Little Monkey. Welcome to Parker House School. This is Baby Bunny. It's her first day of school, too. Her family has just moved here, and Baby Bunny doesn't know anyone. Oh, would you, would you like to play with us until the bell rings? Brown Bear asked Baby Bunny. Oh, yes! Baby Bunny smiled, and this is all so adorable, I can't even. I like your sweater and scarf, Brown Bear told Baby Bunny as they all walked towards the swings. I get them with a sweater and a scarf. It must be a thing in colder places. You can have half my salmon sandwich and some of my honey at lunchtime if you like. Well, that is very generous. I have an apple we can share, said Pinky Piglet. And you can have some of my peanuts, said Little Monkey. Thank you, said Baby Bunny. You can have some of my lettuce and carrots, too. They're in a paper bag. My, my, my mother said that she would take me shopping right after school, and I'll get a lunchbox and a book bag. Oh, because they just moved, so they didn't have time to get all the new stuff ready by day one. But Baby Bunny will be set by tomorrow. 
is scared <laughs> about starting school, Baby Bunny told him. I don't have any friends here yet, and I don't know if I would hear the teacher, and I didn't know if I had the right clothes. <gasps> I was a little nervous too, said Brown Bear. And see what happens when we talk about our feelings openly? We find out that we're not the only ones feeling this way. Our friends, our potential friends, old friends, new friends might feel the same way. And suddenly, you don't feel alone anymore. Well, you can hear Miss Zipper, said Pinky Piglet. <laughs> Your clothes are just right, said Little Monkey. And we'll be your friends, said Brown Bear. So between the cool school supplies, the smart moves, the old friends, the making of the new friends, I would say that Brown Bear's gotten off to a fabulous beginning. And let's face it. Yes, Rain Bear? If you're a kid time story timer, you already know you're off to a head start. Yeah. Mm -hmm.